Hello guys, my name is Akshans and in this lecture we will discuss gradient, divergence and curl. So friends, these all things starts with the differential operator. Differential operator which is delta. Okay. And the delta is x cap plus del by del y y cap plus del by del z and z cap so this is the differential operator or iska use karke hum gradient divergence and curl ko study karenge so let's take the first topic which is gradient okay so the definition of gradient is like guys gradient of a field f tells in which direction you should go to get maximum change in the field f so let's say we have a two levels like this level 1 and this is level 2 okay so this is level 1 and this is level 2 okay so to move from level 1 to level 2 so let's say this is the point where field is generating field generating from this point okay so we can move this direction in this direction also and in this direction also to reach at the level 2 okay so when we move let's say this is the distance of 1 meter okay this is also a distance of 1 meter let's say this is also a distance of 1 meter okay so if we moving in this direction then after moving 1 meter we are getting this much of height okay in this thing after moving 1 meter we are getting this much of height and in this thing and in this direction we are getting this much of height okay so as this is this is the least one okay this is the least one because this has less slope okay this is less slope and this has infinite slope so this will give maximum change maximum change in field f okay so gradient of f tells in which direction you should go to get the maximum change in field so this is the direction okay so gradient of f will tell about this thing okay and direction of gradient of field is given as gradient of a field f divided by magnitude of this so this is called as unit vector so as we have written above that this is del by del x of x cap plus del by del y of y cap plus del by del z of z cap so the gradient of f will be this thing okay so multiply f inside del f by del x x cap del f by del y y cap plus del f by del z x cap so this is the formula of gradient guys so this is the formula of gradient in cartesian coordinate we will discuss the general formula also and the magnitude magnitude of gradient of f is by 
डेल एफ बाय डेल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस डेल एफ बाय डेल वाई स्क्वायर प्लस डेल एफ बाय डेल जेड स्क्वायर पावर हाफ सो दिस इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ डेल एफ एंड डेल एफ डायरेक्शन इज डेल एफ बाय मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ डेल एफ विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अब दिस थिंग सो मैग्नीट्यूड टेल्स इन द डायरेक्शन वेयर वी आर गेटिंग द मैक्सिमम चेंज इज वॉट अमाउंट ऑफ मैक्सिमम चेंज वी आर गेटिंग इन द डायरेक्शन एंड दिस डायरेक्शन इज गिवन बाय दिस थिंग ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज डाइवर्जेंस ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द डाइवर्जेंस लेस से वी हैव अ पाइप एंड वी हैव सम क्यूब्स लाइक दिस ओके वी टेक अ वॉल्यूम एंड वी दिस वॉल्यूम दिस क्यूब हैज वॉल्यूम ऑफ लेस से डी वी ओके एंड लिक्विड इज फ्लोइंग इन दिस पाइप वेन इन फ्लो इन फ्लो इज इक्वल टू आउट फ्लो हेयर वी कैन सी दैट फ्लो इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओके फ्लो इज कॉन्स्टेंट हेयर सो इन फ्लो इज इक्वल टू आउट फ्लो एंड इफ वी टेक अ पाइप लाइक दिस सो हेयर वी टेक लेस ए वॉल्यूम विच इज डी वी एंड हेयर द फ्लो इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो इन फ्लो इज इक्वल टू आउट फ्लो बट इफ वी टूक अ वॉल्यूम हेयर सेम वॉल्यूम डी वी देन हेयर इन फ्लो इज लाइक दिस एंड आउट फ्लो इज more than inflow so inflow is not equal to outflow so divergence is there okay so divergence of field is not equal to zero and in this case divergence of field is equal to zero so here we have to do the dot product of the differential operator with the field f so this is the differential operator okay we have to do the dot product of field f so divergence is of a field which is vector field which is vector field okay vector field is f x cap okay plus f y in y cap and f z in z cap so as we know guys x cap dot x cap is equal to 1 y cap dot y cap is equal to 1 and z cap and z cap is equal to 1 and if we do like this when we have x and y will be zero x with z will be zero and similarly y with z will be zero z will x will be zero so dot product of same thing is one and dot product of different thing will be zero okay so let's do the dot product so x cap and x cap x cap into x cap will be 1 and y cap with this and z cap with this will be 0 so we have to multiply this by this this by this and this by this only okay so by multiplying we have of fx okay plus fy plus f z by del z so this is the formula of divergence divergence in cartesian coordinate so the next thing is curl guys so to understand the curl let's say we have a river like this this is the magnitude of force 
and here force is okay less force is here and here is a more force so let's say we have here more force and we have here a small force we have more force we have here a small force okay so when we take a surface here let's say we have taken a surface like this here okay so here we are putting more force and at this end we are putting less force so this will rotate like this this end will rotate this side and this end will rotate this side so this has some rotation has some rotation which means curl is not equal to zero let's say we have a flow like have same force has constant flow okay then we will take a surface like this and if it is moving constantly without rotating so without rotation then curl is equal to zero okay then curl is equal to zero and and this case is also known as irrotational field okay so any field which has no rotation or curl is equal to zero that field is called as irrotational field okay that is also called as conservative field and non vortex field also so here we have to do the cross product of differential operator which is del by del y y cap del by del z z cap cross of a field which is vector field okay so with this vector field is fx x cap plus fy y cap plus fz z cap so this will be write all the direction and here write the magnitude of first term like this here this here this thing okay and in last row fx fy and fz these things so this is the curl of field okay so this differential operator is cross multiplied with the field so this is the formula of curl in cartesian coordinate system